Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I'm Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Y'all, today is day one of a four-part series that I'm going to do with you guys called Four Signs Your Breakthrough is on the Way. I felt led to do this on Saturday. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me that I needed to do this because there are so many people who were in danger of missing what they've been waiting for, myself included. So just to be transparent and honest with you guys, the enemy is not happy with the level of immediacy and acceleration that the Lord is implementing in the world for us right now. You all know the world is a devil's playground, so he tries to entice us and makes us see things with our eyes, with our flesh. He gets us upset. He gets us angry. And God is trying to get us to focus on who he is, what he told us, what he showed us, what he confirmed to us. But y'all, how easy is it when we know God showed us all these things and promised us all these things, we toss it out immediately because we don't see what we think we should see. So with that being said, y'all, we're going to jump right in. Y'all know these girls been like five minutes. Okay, I want these jokers real, real long because I want to get straight to the point, y'all. I just think it packs more of a punch. You have a little something to marinate on, something to pray about. It's going to help you tremendously with what you're going on. I mean, excuse me, with what you got going on. It is my goal that it helps you tremendously. I'm not going to assume that. It is my goal and my hope that it does. Um, So number one, the first sign that your breakthrough is on the way is that all hell breaks loose. Is there anybody listening right now where everything was moving right along and then boom, it stopped. Boom, the opposite happened. Boom, everything fell apart. Boom, you made all the confirmations, checked all your dots. I mean, checked all your squares, dotted all your I's, crossed all your T's. But then you looked up and it looks like your T's are dotted and your I's are crossed. Right. (laughs) If that is you, hold on. All hell will break loose and attacks will come out of nowhere. The enemy will cause you to question if you heard God. It will cause you to question if you really have wasted your time, you've wasted your effort, your energy, you've wasted your prayers. Come on, somebody. Okay? Let's just be 100. Everybody not bucked up about praying for somebody all the time, especially when that person don't treat them right, especially when they don't appreciate them. Nobody, who wants to keep praying about an opportunity for a business and it don't seem like they ever get any money? Who wants to keep praying for for a situation and it seems like it'll never change? I'm just keeping it 100. I'm going to say what you don't want to say or what you're afraid to say because people who are too hard up, fake and over religious will make you think that you can't say and do certain things. When the law says confess your sins, he wants you to talk to him. He wants you to confess how you feel because that's the only way you're going to get Uh, you're going to get to where you're supposed to be. And y'all, those confessions are not necessarily sinful. It's just how you feel. You know what I'm saying? So if all hell is breaking loose for you right now, you are in good company. Hold on. So here's a little tip I'm going to give you. With each sign, I'll give you a tip at the end. Here's your tip for when hell breaks loose. When hell breaks loose, what's the opposite of something breaking, right? You mend something that's broken. Whenever hell breaks loose, go go to heaven So that heaven can mend what's broken. So whenever hell breaks loose, you want heaven to mend. Y'all got what I'm saying? The opposite of heaven is hell. The opposite of breaking is mending. So when all hell breaks loose, you want heaven to mend. So you're like, well, how do you do that, Robin? Because usually you're really, usually stark raving mad. You're angry when hell breaking loose and you don't know why you've been doing all the right things. Everything God is telling you to do and boom, it blows up in your face. 
So this is what you do. As soon as you see that thing go topsy-turvy, as soon as you see hell going backwards, forwards, up and down and all of this, the first thing you do, you say, Lord, I need you. I need you to fix this. I need you to mend it. I need you to remind me that despite what this looks like, heaven will mend this situation. Y'all listen, I don't have no magic trick. I don't have no quick fix. All I know is that death and life are in the power of the tongue. The fact that you even recognize that hell is breaking loose and you know something is up right there is half the battle. And even that angers the enemy. So what I want you to do, you seek heaven. You seek God, seek God, the father for him to mend you, to mend what's going on. Because when things become broken around you, things you've been working on, things you've been, been believing God for. If you know that that's not God ending it, you know that's God not shutting and slamming a door. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I just want to say this disclaimer because I feel led to say it. Some of you, the Lord has slammed the door shut and he's not going to open it for you. You need to be okay with that. Because if you got what you're begging to get, it would kill you. Mm. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.